What's up guys, my name is Michael and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to go over how to check if a number is odd or even using bitmaps. Let's say we have the number 10 again, which is in base 10. If we convert it into binary, we see that you get one zero one zero. If you see this and let's say we subtract two from 10, so we get eight. This is an even number, right? Eight. Well, what do we have? Well, if we were to convert eight into binary, we would have one zero zero zero. And let's say we had like six in binary, binary. So what would, what would we have? Zero, one, one, zero. Let's say we have four in binary. So zero, one, zero, zero. And let's say we have two in binary. Okay, zero, one, yeah, okay. So as you can see here, if almost all, all the even numbers have a zero at the end, okay? All the even numbers have a zero at the end, just based on looking at the bits, right? Looking at the bits. So if I want to check if a number is even or odd, how, how would I check it? Well, we just have to check if there's a zero in the end. And that would be an even number. So now uh, recall this property in mathematics, which is like um, any odd number can be represented by as an even number. So if I have like an odd number n, right? This is an odd number. Let's say this is an odd number. It could be represented by 2k plus one, okay? And 2k where k is an even number, right? So if you this is basically just saying that if you take an any even number, you add it by one, that's going to get you an odd number, right? And uh. Yeah, so any odd number can be represented by an even number, which is any even number plus one, right? An even number is anything that's divisible by two, right? See right here, two divis divisible by two. So this is basically every odd number. So um, if you were to add one to basically any even number, like let's say we check 11, right? 11's binary is one, zero, one, one, right, in base two. And if you add one to any odd number, right, so, Let's uh, add, uh, add one to an even number, like eight. Eight plus one is nine. So what is nine's binary? One, zero, zero, one, right? So um, as you can see here, for even numbers, they all end at zero, right? All end at zero, all the zero here. And for odd numbers, they always end at one. The last ending is one. Okay, so if you want to check if something is an odd number, all you have to do is just check if is the last value a one, right? Otherwise, it must be an even value, right? So it is the last bit, this last bit, is it a one? So if it's a one, then that means it is odd. Otherwise, it's an even number, right? Because it would have zeros, okay? So how do you check if it's something is even or odd? Well, simple. If we just wanna check the last place is, is check is it one or not? This last place of this one? Um, all we have to do is just and it by one. So if we were to go back, this is 11. So if I and it by one, so that means I end it by one. So all these places are zeros and I have one here, right? Basically, if you end it by one, all the rest of the bits become zeros. Like anything in front of the last bit here becomes zero. So they, all these values become zero. And a little bit besides the last bit, right? So if your last bit is one, is a one, it's going to equal to a one, right? And basically, if you just and it by one, and your uh, and you last bit is one, and it equals to one, that's going to be mean it's odd. It's an odd number. Otherwise, it's otherwise it's even. So that's basically the gist of this code. So um, let's just code it up now. All right, guys. So this is basically the code. Um, I just read in a number from the user input and then I just check um, if I and it by one and it's equal to one Then it's odd. Otherwise, it's even um, Technically, we don't even need this We could just get rid of the equal equal one because in C++ anything that is um, If it if it's greater than zero, right, it assumes it's like It's true, right? So the the conditional would be true So this would be true if that's the case, but I, I just put this just in case so um, we should put parentheses so if I end it by one is equal to one, then it's odd. Otherwise it's even. So uh, here, uh, let's just run it. So let's say I put in like, I don't know, eight. Uh, eight, that's even, yeah, so that's right. Uh, let's put nine. That's odd, yeah, that's right, okay. Uh, let's try one. One is odd, yeah. So that's basically the gist of the code. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. Rate, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys later, peace.